Yesterday during our stock talk, our stock talk is a Zoom call that we hold with our tribe members where we talk about the stock market. I asked Mark, Mark is the guy on our Discord who runs our course on how to swing trade, if there was any stock that he sw did a swing trade on that he wished he hadn't sold. And he said, yeah, there is one. It's XLE. And I said, well, why did you sell it? And he said, well, I sell on, I buy and sell on technicals, technical analysis. And the parameters were set up to buy it, and then the parameters were set up to sell it, but it just kept going up. So I said, well, what is it? He says, I really don't know. I buy on techn technical setup. So I looked into it, and it's XLE. It's an energy ETF, and this is an ETF that I think I need to own for probably the next 15 years. And I want to get into it deep so you understand why. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. So after the meeting, the first thing I did was enter it onto my Moomoo um, phone app so that I could track it and see what it's doing. And as it was, it finished the day yesterday up 1% at uh, uh, $91.42. The really real reason I do this uh, beyond the convenience of having it on my phone and when I'm anywhere I can access it is because of the charts. Uh, I have fallen in love with Moo Moo's charts and let me take you to the chart and I'll show you exactly why and why I like um, XLE and why it's probably going to be the only ETF that I have, have ever owned or will ever own and we'll take a look at it. This is my Moo Moo chart for XLE. Yeah, I'm looking at a one-year tracking of it. And what I use is the 200-day moving average, the 50 and the 9-day. And you can see back here in late September, it went under the 200-day and then came up and actually gapped up here at uh, 73 uh, up to 74.49 and then took a a, a, a almost straight path up and is now bouncing off the highs and that's its resistance levels. So yesterday you can see it uh, on Friday it uh, went over the resistance level but then closed right at the resistance level. So I'm looking at this and saying it's probably going to launch from here based on some additional information that I've gathered since uh, my conversation with Mark. And so I'm not in it now, but I'm anticipating I'm going to look at it Monday. And this is something I want to own. And I want to give you some detail as to why I want to own it. Then I want to show you something else about the Moomoo charts that I've come to like. This, this is where I've brought it down to a smaller size. Over here, I get all the news that is relevant to XLE. Now, XLE is an ETF, so it owns about 27, 25, 27, we'll look and see, uh, energy stocks. So I'm seeing things from um, uh, Berkshire Hathaway, again, Berkshire Hathaway, Mobile Oil, um, EOG Resources. Uh, here's uh, something, for, again, about mobile, Exxon Mobil. And so it gives me the ability, all I have to do is click on that, and it will bring up that story in detail as to what they're, what they're looking at. That's why I use Moomoo. Uh, right now, they're giving you 15 free stocks plus a $100 bonus uh, based on their uh, 100, I don't know, a 10 year uh, based on their 10 year anniversary. But now, um, now I, I like what I see here, but I need to learn more about XLE, what, what, uh, what the cost to own it is, what kind of dividends does it pay. So I'll go to Seeking Alpha for that. Then the next thing I wanted to do was learn more about the ETF. And so I went to Seeking Alpha. I have a premium membership to it. I don't see how anybody can get by without it. And I learned a lot about XLE, and then I learned something else I want to talk to you about. This is my Seeking Alpha page on XLE. As you can see, it's currently trading at uh, about $91 a share. It's actually down for year-to-date 31%. 
It's up 59.7% um, year to date, and I and I have a pretty good understanding as to why. Everybody's giving it uh, a, an A rating. It, had a, it has an expense ratio of 0.11%. Uh, uh, it pays a dividend of $3.60 or a 3% yield. So when I look at that and say, okay, I'm going to have to pay $0.10 cents per share to uh, have them manage this, uh, but they're going to pay me $3.06 per share in dividend. So that's a wash. That's not a big thing. Um, then I go down here and it gives me a, a, a detailed description of what they do. And basically they're an ETF in um, use on, in the United States public markets. And its focus is on the energy sector. If I go down further, um, it tells me what their top 10 holdings are, ExxonMobil being the, the largest, uh, Chevron being the second largest, and Phillips 66 down here at 3%. And their uh, total number of holdings is 26. So it's, it's not a large ETF. So then as I was scrolling through it, I came across this, and this interested me, a video in interview on U.S. shale geopolitics and the European crisis, and it's by uh, Jennifer Warren. I watched some of this, and I would encourage you to watch it, and she's a young lady who is specializing in how the energy is going to affect, or the energy shortage in Europe is going to affect Europe and the opportunities that they have. She makes a statement that 82% of the world's energy needs right now are being uh, offered through carbon, uh, through these types of companies. She then goes on to say that that will grow by 50% by 2050. So even though we're talking about electric cars and we're talking about uh, wind and solar energy, this is an ETF that's going to grow. I'm going to do my darndest to get an interview with Jennifer and share that with you in the future because I what I learned from this this interview that I watched is uh, blew my mind. I, I had no idea and she's an expert and I'm going to pursue it. So let's talk a little bit more in depth about this ETF and why I think it's should be in your portfolio and why it's going to be in my portfolio. Okay, that's my take on XLE and why it's going to become a part of my portfolio and why I think you should consider it for your portfolio. Beyond that, it I want to emphasize the interview that I saw with Jennifer uh, Warren really was eye-opening to me. She makes a statement in there that uh, the... European Union, amongst the European company countries, they had a ban on uh, fracking. And as a result, they did none. And uh, the, the, the collective has made it undesirable. But she basically says that they have more oil and gas available in Europe uh, through fracking than we do in the United States. And as a result of fracking here in the United States, we became oil independent. I need to look into that further because I ask myself the question, if, if in fact, as a result of what is going to happen this winter with uh, Europe's dependence on uh, Russia for their their energy supply, will will your, the European Union come together and say we've got to develop fracking? And if they do, who they who are they going to go to uh, to get it done? Who is it that has mastered the art and and done it in such a way that it doesn't? pollute our water like we thought it would in the past, and who is going to be the beneficiary of this change in policy in Europe to make sure they're not never again caught in a winter like they're going to be caught in this winter? Who's going to do that? Well, I, I, I'm quite sure, or I suspect, it's going to be the 26 companies that are in XLE. So is this a an event that creates a need, and I can profit off of it by recognizing what's going to happen next. That's what I do. I basically look at things and say, what's going to happen next? I can't do anything about what's happening now, 
but I can do something about what's going to happen next if I have the foresight to look into the future. Now, I want at the same time, I want you to understand the, the path that I have been on for the last 12 hours. I, I, I had a stock talk with my group of people who, who follow my uh, YouTube channel, and we call ourselves a tribe. And on Friday, we have this stock talk. And the conversation got into Mark's training course on swing trading and a, a, a stock that he regrets that he sold. Although he said he doesn't regret it because it follows his platform. But that's another story. Um, and that led me to my awareness of XLE. So what I then did was put it on my Moomoo app, uh, look at it, look at its chart on that little chart that's on my phone. And then I went to my, my computer and looked at it on the big Moomoo chart. Then I went to Seeking Alpha to learn more about it, and that's where I discovered the article on Jennifer Warren. That's, that's my last 12 hours, okay? And, and it would not have happened if I, not, if I hadn't had that stock talk, if I hadn't been talking to Mark about his one swing trade that he had wished he didn't swing with, okay? That's, that's the power of a tribe. That's the power of a community. If you don't belong to a community, if you aren't part of something that you're getting together every week or have access to this sort of thing, you're, you're really sitting behind the eight ball and, and, and you're, you're cutting yourself off because you can do so much better with other people's help than trying to work by yourself. That's what the whole idea of a corporation is. That's the whole idea of you investing in stocks, getting the benefit of other people's knowledge, other people's experience, and other people's talents, okay? That's what Best of Us Investors is trying to do. I want you to become a part of it. Why do I want you to become of a part of it? Because you know something I need to know. Because you could show up Friday and spur a conversation that takes me down another 12-hour path. Now, what I'm going to do beyond this, and, and I'll commit to you, I'm going to get an interview with Jennifer. Jennifer Warren, uh, she's part of Seeking Alpha. I have a connection with Seeking Alpha. I'm confident I can get an interview with her. And we're going to learn more about this little tidbit of information that I picked up, that Europe has more shale opportunity than the United States does. And you're, that is going to become an event or an opportunity for you and I to participate in a change that's going to happen over there. Okay, I'm excited about this. I'll talk to you more about it tomorrow.